Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go through how I overhauled my graphics of my indie game and turn it from this to this. If you're new here, my name is Moss and we're working on a game where a duck is saving the world from an alien invasion. When I started working on Doc Norris, I knew I wanted to add proper lighting system to the game and it was something that I was determined to do when I switched from Unity to Game Maker Studio. There's something empowering about being able to manipulate the look of the game from the game engine itself. Quite frankly, some games don't need a light system to look gorgeous. Some artists can elevate how the game look by simply following a plan and going with the color palette. Take a look at Return. The game looks stunning without any fancy engine work. It's all done by just using correct color and contrast. Post-processing is like a preference than anything. Some artists prefer it as it gives them more control. For me, my workflow usually relies on a little bit of post-processing. It's something that I understand as it gives me more creative freedom. But before I add the code to my game, I try to rely on sprites to get a similar effect. This is actually a very good solution and it can give you a very nice result. You just have to create custom sprites for some of the effects, so it does take a little bit of time. The issue with it is that sometimes the layers when it blends don't give you the effects that you're looking for, but it's a very good solution that works when you need it. And this got me thinking, if I can create a better system that gives me better light and more control over colors, and also to push the engine to its full potential. Before we get started, let's break down how light works. If you hold a camera in a dark room, for example, it won't capture anything. But once you add a light to the scene, the sensors start to pick up the shapes and throw it on the display. The way the light works in the engine is very similar. One way you can mimic that is by adding a dark layer on top of your viewport and poke holes to eliminate what's underneath. Similar to photography, your image exposure has to be just right to give yourself a good range of color to work with. If your image is too bright, trying to dim it down will destroy the colors. Same thing when the colors are dark. Trying to get that image to the correct exposure will be very hard and you will risk having artifacts. So you always want to have the colors to be almost in a daylight but correctly exposed to give yourself full control over the range. So let's just say for example if you wanted to create a daytime to nighttime you can add a dark blue color to make it look like nighttime. And similarly you can add silhouettes if you wanted to so it gives you full control when you're color correcting. So here's how I created the first effect. I created a bunch of different sprites that I can reuse in the game. These are the ones that are going to poke holes in the dark layer. This method is very easy as it doesn't use any shaders. You're basically blending the dark layer to give the illusion of light and shadow. And this is awesome because it doesn't require a lot of work and it can be done relatively easy. However, it comes with some setbacks. The first thing that comes to mind is that it darkened the whole image. If you have a background and you don't want it to be affected, it will be very hard for you to manipulate that. And the second thing, blending colors together doesn't work very well and it can have some issues. So you have to be very strategic on how you want to implement that. And lastly, if you wanted to do something a little bit more fancy, there's a hard limit on how far you can push this method. The next effect is more in tune from adding a light source in any engine. And this one uses shaders. So you have a little bit more control of what gets drawn on the screen. And this does everything in the engine itself and relies on your GPU. And one thing you'll notice is that it doesn't affect the background, so I can just keep exposing and the background will stay the same. And this one actually affects the color of the sprite. So if I move from this section to this section, my sprite is already exposed to different colors and different moods. And you can actually increase the brightness of the sprite, unlike the other method where basically because you're poking holes, you're not adding any more light. And if you wanted to take this and elevate it, you can add edge shadows to give you like a fog of war effect. And this will be awesome if you're making a horror game that relies so much on exploration. And you can even have a whole game mechanic based on light and shadow. Also, this gives you a little bit more control of some of the effects. It'll take a look at this muzzle flash effect. It looks gorgeous. And lastly, you can even add mood lights and neons, which I'm absolutely in love with. There's so much you can do with it, and that's why I really wanted this system to be in the game. And if I wanted to push it even further, I can add light effect to the lasers. But I think it's just way too much, and I like to have a clean look with the little subtle touches of game juice. And there you have it, updating the visuals by adding some light and shadows. And if you want to know how to create these effects in your game, I highly recommend to check out 1UP Indie, where he explained how to do the first method, and Grizzless Maximus for the second method. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far and you're interested in optimizing things and becoming better, I've created a new Discord server for like-minded people who wants to take this journey to the next level, and you can find it in the links below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and a comment. It will really help me with the algorithm and help the channel grow. If you enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy this video as well. Thank you so much, and remember, just take it one day at a time, and I'll see you in the next video.